So I'm here with actress Melanie Kinnaman. Hello. Known for playing Pam from Friday the 13th, part 5, A New Beginning. Didn't wear my pink sweater. I know. Forgot it. Are you having fun this weekend? I'm having a great time, yes. I've never been to Columbus. Oh. And the people are very interested. Yeah. It's cool. a whole different thing from where I, you know, LA. So you live in Beverly Hills? Right? Yes. So tell us about your little, your, your day to day life. Oh, what do you I, do? I can't talk about that. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, it's different. It's different from here. I have a busy schedule because I continue to work out. I'm also a dance teacher. I do that. You uh, look amazing. Well, thank by you the very way. much. <laughs> and uh, you know, I do what everybody else does. Also, you know, go out with friends, see bad movies. Come on, you're a party girl. Yeah. She's a party girl. Yeah. Come on. I trapped my hotel room. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I absolutely did not. You're a good liar. It was an idea. Beverly Hills, I, sh I shop in Beverly Hills. We have Barney's, okay. Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue. What's your favorite store? Oh, that's tough. Neiman Marcus or Barney's. It's a, it's okay. a, it's a... <laughs> Most outrageous thing you bought recently. Oh my God. And you have to be honest. You have to be honest. It's a white fur boa. <laughs> so. And it's fabulous. <laughs> From where? From Barney's? I got it from Nemo. Okay, okay, so ballpark number, we won't go there. No. Let's just say that I cannot afford that. <laughs> but why do you think that, well first, let, let's let's just start off by saying that Friday Part 5 uh -huh. is different than the rest of the series. Yes. Why do you think that that one film has really stood the test of time? I mean, you have lines, you have people coming to meet you yes. from all over the place. I think really because it was different. I, you know, uh, they tried something, whether it worked or not. I think it worked, but a lot of the fans disagree with me that um, they should have just stuck with the formula. Okay. But I think it was great that they stepped outside the box and had a different idea. It's much more interesting than to keep doing it, in my opinion. That's why I think it endured. It took a while because when it first came out, it was hated and I was hated. And I got a lot of hate mail. And what? I said, you got hate mail? People, it's just a movie. You know? Wow. Yes, and now people love it. People yeah, come I, to see I was going to say, love it. now people think that, well, they consider your character, Pam, yeah. one of the strongest in the whole <laughs> franchise. Well, that's good. So. No, that's great. So, what I does it mean? I kind of agree. Kind of agree. Okay. What does it mean to you to be a woman in the horror industry? Because it's changed over the years. Yes. I think when I did it, it was cleaner. Okay. What do you mean by that? A lot of things. I think that the image was cleaner. Um, I think that for the most part, the dialogue, my, my dialogue was perfect. I didn't have to take my clothes off. I didn't have to do anything. The newer stuff is much more violent, in my opinion. Yeah, um, it is. There's a lot more sex and violence together. Not my taste. What do you think about modern horror films compared I, to when you were in them? I don't like them. No? Not at all? I don't like them at all. Okay. It's terrible. I hate to say it, but I don't. I don't. I'm old school now. You know? Shady. I mean, my, yeah, my favorite, you know, come on. I, I loved The Exorcist. Uh, classic. All the Hitchcock stuff. That to me is classic. My number one movie all time, Psycho. See? The original Psycho. Classic. I'm with you. And it holds up. It holds up. And it I also love Straw Dogs. Yes. Which yes. wasn't really horror, but horror. the scariest for me is a class to it. You can okay. still have violence and blood, but have a little class. Out of all of the people that you've met at these conventions, mm -hmm. um, fellow Scream Queens, mm -hmm. Who do you get along with the most? I like most of the final girls. I have to say that it's politically fair. Um, she said most. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to name names. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I met Brooke Bundy at a show. Okay. And she was the nicest person I think I've ever met. What's the most outrageous situation that you've been in in Beverly Hills? Well, I, I won't say the name, but it's a fam very famous actor who's short, stature. Okay. And I was at a party, and he walked up to me, introduced himself, and proceeded to come on to me throughout the whole party. But I wasn't interested in him. Uh, not, I just wasn't interested in him. He, was, he seemed very nice. But as I turned to leave, he asked me to dinner. He said, oh, would you like to just leave now together? And I knew what that meant. And I said, well, thank you very much. I'm very flattered, but no thank you. And he, as I turned to walk away from him, he said, you're short. And the guy's like four feet tall. Not, oh. not, not really. He's not four feet tall. He's probably five seven. And um, 
Hey now, I'm 5 eight. What piece of advice would you give to up-and-coming screen queens? Really study the script. Make sure you're signing on for what you're signing on for. Because I did some things that, that weren't in the script, if you know what I mean. I was made to do some things. So just be very clear about what you're doing. You have to love it. You have to love what you're doing. And remember, in the screen, your actual screen, the whole story is in your screen. It is. Your screen needs to project that story. There you have it, guys. Such a pleasure to meet you. And you're very handsome. Love this woman.